Okay, so I am on brightside.com and we are going to be going through signing up, creating an account, paying for therapy, and going through the whole sign up process. So we're just going to start with the free assessment. Quick questionnaire, see our results, start treatment. Let's get started. They ask us to tell a little bit about ourselves. Then they're going to ask us what they can help us for, what symptoms we're having, what kind of general problem. Anything from depression to binge eating disorder, PTSD, everything in between. I'm going to select burnout, something that I actually, I work too much. I think we all do, but very curious to hear what another therapist says about this. Looks like they have appointments soon. Okay, then you'll fill a quiz based on the problem that you selected that you want help for. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so I finished the quiz and now I'm going to create my free account. Then they're going to ask us or show us our results. So minimal depression, mild anxiety. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, so then I'm going to go to treatment options. I am going to do evidence based therapy. And now it looks like because I use the sign up code that it's scratched down, the, the code has been automatically applied. So be sure to use the link because you will save money using that link. And I'm going to go through the uh, medication and therapy for the first month. That's what I would like to try. $299, normally $399. I'm going to uh, start treatment for this. So I'm asking, they're asking a question right now to see if we're appropriate for online medical care. So they ask if I have any of these diseases or conditions, liver disease, kidney disease, long QT syndrome, epilepsy. I'm going to say none because I don't. The purpose of this review is to try everything, and but I'm going to be honest. So it looks like this is the insurance coverages right side accepts. We've got Aetna, Allegiance, Anthem, Blue Cross, Cigna, SNS, United Healthcare. Okay, so it's normally $349 a month, but this one, it's automatically been applied to bring it down to $299. So I'm going to go ahead and pay for this. Okay, so we have signed up. We're going to do some intake questions, some essential information. Looks like this was question one of nine. Ask about what gender we identify with and our orientation, pronouns, nine sections. Interesting, really detailed. Why we're seeking care and what we hope will help us achieve those goals. They ask us how long we've been experiencing. They ask you about episodes. They ask us about which of the following to believe is contributing to our feelings. What are our goals for treatment? They ask us about what are our goals for treatment? Does they reduce anxiety about stress, work? Asks about sleep, weight, vomiting, recklessness, crouchiness, current and past treatment. They ask us about meditation, medications were taken. Medications we have taken, antidepressants, currently therapy, yeah. personal medical history. They ask us about health. Conditions, living with any of these conditions. Medications, allergic reactions, 
nutritional supplements. Any of the following symptoms, cold all the time, hair loss. As a doctor or therapist never told you that. Smoke, yes. Marijuana. Ask us about you. They ask us a lot about self harm, which I'm really glad to see that they're asking about. They ask us about these great feelings that many other questionnaires don't get at. Not good enough, empty, aimless, lonely, indecisive. These are Things that people feel that other questionnaires don't like. I really appreciate this intake questionnaire. It's in depth. It's a bit longer, but I like it. You ask about eating disorders, personal history, genetics. They're really trying to get to know us, and and I'm impressed by this this quiz. So they're going to work with me on a psychiatric provider, book my first appointment. And I will be going in on so they have the, their licenses. Looks like they were able to book people Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. They offer psycho psychiatric providers. Um, book an appointment, 30 minutes is background checked and I can see her profile and it says that they have X amount of years as a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner, board certified family nurse practitioner, been practicing providing mental health services for a variety of years, um, uses evidence-based practice, licensed, board certified background check, Good hire. Okay, so then it then we'll book an appointment. Great. And then we can just add it to my calendar. Let's see to prepare for our appointment. We accept our reminder. We find a quiet space. Accomplish more if we're relaxed and comfortable. Alrighty. Then we can just continue schedule. And then we also book our first therapy session as well. Now it looks like they have just automatically assigned a therapist to us. Wow, this is great. Multicultural therapy as an LGBT ally. Evidence-based practices such as cognitive behavioral therapy, acceptance and commitment therapy, mindfulness, and EMDR. She received her degree in marriage family therapies in 2016. Okay. Now they just give us one therapist to pick from. That's interesting. I wonder how we'll change it later. I'm excited to work with this therapist, but I'm also just for the sake of the review, very curious on how or if we can switch it. I guess we'll find out later. Okay, and then I will continue. Oh, great. Nice. What to expect at my first psychiatric and therapy appointments. Do in-depth reviews in preparation of our conversations. Review their situation, discuss the plan care, answer any questions you might have. If the provider decides medication is right for you, you can request to have it sent over to your local pharmacy. Schedule weekly sessions, continue the conversation anytime with unlimited messaging. Care coordinators, billing, pharmacy scheduling, anything you need. They care about us. Hmm, that's nice. They recommend entering these numbers into your phone or taking a screenshot of this page. If you're ever in a crisis considering hurting yourself or someone else, be aware of these resources. And it looks like throughout this path, they're going to continually measure us and our symptoms to see if our symptoms improve. It's really based on measurable performance. The dashboard shows settings. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, going through this and Looks like it even looks like it has uh, some stuff about depression and things like this. Refer a friend, crisis resources. Okay, so that is Brightspace, guys, ladies and gentlemen.
If you have any questions, keep posting them down below. All right, let's move on to the next section.